Ok, aquí estoy con el señor Jorge Ramos uh -huh. este, a ver la película de Heat Rise en el documental y aquí también está la directora, claro. digo la, la productora, no más bien, ah, más bien la, la directora, Hola. la mera mera jefa. La mera, mera jefa. ¿Cómo está? Catherine Tambini. She uh, did the documentary for Heat Rising and it's going to be an interesting okay. flick. Okay, who's uh, next? Yeah, please. Excuse me, sit down. You weren't called. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Go ahead. No, you don't. You haven't been called. Go back to Univision. Go ahead. Go ahead. What's the strategy? Well, the strategy is, is to do it precisely before the election. And I'm, and I'm pur purposely trying not to be political here. Uh, as you saw, I, I just... I just don't want to be partisan, and I. So you wouldn't yeah. say uh, Trump should be held accountable for all his rhetoric that he's committed throughout I, uh, this I, campaign? I confronted Trump. I know you did. And and I very think very admirable think, of you doing such a thing. I think he said I think he said racist remarks. Yes. And I confronted him with that. You cannot deport 11 million people. You cannot build a 1,900 mile wall. You cannot deny citizenship to children in this Sit country, down, and with those you ideas, you I'm, a, no, 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 I'm a reporter and I have, I'm, here, don't touch me, sir, please don't touch me, here. sir, please you cannot touch me, I have the right to ask a question, yes, in, in order, in I, terms, have, I have the right to ask a question, yes, go ahead, hi, Jim, yes, I have, the, I, have, I have the right to ask a, a question, and what we're trying to do is to, um, it's going to be shown on Univision and on Fusion, so hopefully millions of people would be able to watch it before the election, Everything, so it's going to be seen on social media, it's going to be seen on, on TV. Um, when in Univision? When in Univision? It's going to be next, uh, next Sunday at 10 o'clock. And then on Fusion, and then it's going to be repeated all over the place on social media. So, that, I mean, that's the way to do it. We could okay. do it like this, but we would need like millions of millions like this. I would like right. to see it on CNN. Univision anchor Jorge Ramos is the host of a new documentary film, Heat Rising. In the film, Ramos travels to small towns across the country to speak with several white supremacist groups, including neo-Nazis, the Ku Klux Klan, and the so-called alt-right movement. Ramos also explores the coverage and mainstreaming of racial ideas in the media, especially in the most recent election season. He sits down with members of Muslim and Latino communities who have become victims of racial attacks. The documentary will be broadcast on October 23rd in English on Fusion and in Spanish on Univision. Perdón. <laughs> I understand you're not trying to be too political, but I think there's an important question uh, surrounding it. Uh, not specifically your political view, but rhetoric such as uh, evil and things like this surrounding topics that Donald Trump is suggesting around racism and things like this. Do you think that reporting agencies should use rhetoric like this when discussing politicians in the middle of a when? campaign? Oh, do, do you think that reporting agencies such as like yeah. NPR or in general should be using terms like evil in the no. middle of a political campaign? And do you think that people should solely base their decisions on political candidates based off of ideas like this or rhetoric that suggests terms as evil or things? I, I, I don't like to use the term evil or good because it's a, it's a moral judgment. If somebody says something that is racist, if somebody says something that is sexist, um, should I say it? Should I say what you are saying is sexist and racist? Um, and then if you do that, then as a journalist, you have to take a stand. And I've identified like six areas where I think you have to take a stand when it comes to racism and with discrimination and corruption and public lies and dictatorships and violation of human rights. You have to take a stand. I have to do it as a reporter. Uh, I cannot say, well, he said something racist, but now let's, let's, let's give the other point of view. No, he's saying something racist, you have to call them out. I mean, if you're with a friend and he says something similar to what Donald Trump said in that boss, or what he said about Mexican immigrants, it is difficult. They're your friends, they're your neighbors, you're with them, they're your coworkers. But there was, now it's a time in which we have to, to take responsibility and say, I'm sorry, I don't agree with you. No, you don't have to hit them in the face, but you have to say what you're saying is wrong. 
I'm so sorry. I love you so much. You're my neighbor. Uh, I work with you. Uh, but what you're saying is wrong. And if we don't give voice to those ideas, who's going to do it? No? I what if those people don't want to listen? Because I've been through that well, myself. Well, it doesn't matter. Most of the time, Rowdy didn't want to listen. Yeah. But he, but he, he knows what I was it's saying. It's surprisingly, even Hispanics uh, also are voting for Trump. Good morning, Mr. Uh, Donald J. Trump. My name is Marco. I am a Mexican-American, and here in California, we support your campaign. And I wanted to make this video to defend you from um, Jorge Ramos and Univision, and a new, um, a new gig that they got going on, which is called Fusion. I, I, I honestly wouldn't want to and direct anyone to vote for one candidate or the other, you know? Thank you. I think do you think they uh, were doing it the, the wrong way? The, the because from outside, I think I've that's been exactly why the question is oh, important sorry. to be Yes. Because there are obviously Hispanics and non-Hispanics that are voting for everyone. Yeah. And I just, I'm afraid of the use of terms like that because and they get heated. everyone here has yeah. a legitimate reason to not vote for Donald Trump. But in the essence of a political campaign in regards to a country, it is necessary that people always evaluate people equally and not use things such as extremism to not consider people. And I'm not voicing a political yeah. view. In that no, but you can. I mean, I as, a, as a citizen, you can voice a, a political view, and it will be your responsibility to do that. Um, Thank you, Jorge. Really no, no, no. You come and you're on the other side of the border. I'm not talking about Mexico. Somebody on the other side of the border. A woman is getting ready to have a baby. She crosses the border for one day, has the baby all of a sudden for the next 80 years, hopefully longer, but for the next 80 years, we have to take care of the people. I don't think this, no, 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 I, I don't think so. And the drugs come, I see them cry, I, they have pictures, they have everything crawling over the fences, which are, by the way, this high. I mean, you have fences that are not as tall as I am. Well, they're coming by, well, they're coming by many different ways. But, but the primary way they're coming is being right through, right past our border patrols, who, by the way, are tremendous people. Um, when, when I heard what, what Trump said on June 16, 2015, when he said Mexican immigrants are criminals and drug traffickers and rapists, I knew he was wrong. I mean, all, those, all the studies suggest that immigrants are less likely to be criminals and to be behind bars. So for two months, I was thinking, what can I do? What can I do until I realized that was my job to go and confront him in a, in a press conference? So I did what I had to do, and I'm still doing it with a documentary. But now it's your turn. So go home and then ask yourself, what am I going to do? Earlier this week, I publicly challenged superstar Univision anchorman Jorge Ramos to a debate about the proper role of journalism in a free society. Ramos hasn't responded. That's probably because his abuse of journalism is flat out indefensible. Ramos's contention on CNN's reliable sources that he is, quote, just a journalist asking questions, unquote, is laughable. As now, there's no that? such thing as hate speech. I, I want my kids to live in a better country. I, I don't want to go to a meeting mm -hmm. and be afraid of speaking. I was honestly afraid of, of speaking. And also, let, let, me, let me say the other things. Mm -hmm. Because we're concentrating on 892 hate groups and on people who are being racist and discriminating against us. But the vast majority of Americans that I know are not like that. The vast majority of Americans, and we are, mo many of us are Americans and or living in the United States, they're not like that. They're simply not like that. So um, I embrace them, and I talk to them, and I thank them, and I say as many times as I can that this country gave me the opportunities that my country of origin simply couldn't give me.